Hello, Reading community. So as usual, I wanted to take this chance to share a few updates, some of the things happening across RPS, and then also celebrate some of the great things happening uh, in our schools across the district. So to start, uh, the first update is around uh, seeking community support in terms of substitute teaching. So one of the biggest challenges we face to start the school year is just a lack of consistent uh, substitute teaching. Uh, and I know that this is an issue that has sort of um, affected schools across our country, so it's not unique here in Reading, but we are seeking community support to help us uh, address this challenge. So we are seeking any uh, community members, parents, uh, who would be willing to substitute teach, even if it's only one day a week uh, or in one particular school, to help us just close this gap. As you know, every time there is a staff absence that goes uncovered, there's a ripple effect across all of our schools uh, and all of our classrooms. Uh, so we are uh, reaching out to the community to help support us with this. If you may be interested in substitute teaching, uh, please reach out directly to our HR director, Michelle Roach. I would also like to note we recently did just uh, increase the pay for daily substitutes as well. So thanks in advance to all the community members who are willing to uh, step up and support us in this way. Second update is also around uh, community support, and this ties to the development of a new website. So we are uh, beginning the process of redesigning our uh, district website as a way to be more reflective, or so the website's more reflective of who we are as a district and as a community, and to become a more dynamic, functional site that allows you know, multiple different stakeholders to give uh, and receive information uh, easily. So we are seeking uh, community members, uh, staff members, and students who have a background in either design, website design or website development to support us on a working group to help us move this work forward. So again, if you are a uh, staff member, student, or a community member with a background in website development, uh, please reach out directly to our Director of Finance and Operations, uh, Susan Botan, who is gonna help lead this work forward. Our goal is to have a, a new website launched by the spring of 2022. So thanks in advance for those who are able to share your expertise with us in this area. Third update relates to uh, Veterans Day. So our RMHS Student Council is going to help uh, lead an assembly uh, for Veterans Day. And during that assembly, they're going to read the names and acknowledge all the different Reading veterans uh, across our community. If you are a uh, veteran or if you know of any veterans in our community, please fill out the Google Doc that's listed here that comes directly from the Student Council. Uh, so that way they can acknowledge um, you or acknowledge those uh, in the community who you know deserve this recognition. So a special shout out to all of the veterans in our Reading community and thank you for your work in helping us to celebrate them uh, at this ceremony in the assembly. Last piece, our last update is around COVID-19 notifications. Um, so as you know, to start the year, our process has been when there is a positive COVID-19 case, we communicate directly with those who are considered close contacts. So that way the families and the students know sort of the process for either test and stay or quarantining. We've heard a lot of feedback from families that they would also appreciate that even if their child is not a close contact, but they are in the classroom with a positive case, they would also appreciate sort of a notification uh, just to be in the loop on sort of, um, of the case. So therefore moving forward, uh, we are going to broaden our communication around positive cases to also include classroom level notifications. And again, while this won't change anything in terms of process or next steps of what those who receive the letter, what they need to do, uh, we hope that this will also add another layer of just transparency uh, and openness around um, sort of cases in our school. So this may look a little bit different at each of our levels, at elementary, middle, and high school, given the different structures of the schools. But again, you should see this uh, implemented effective immediately. So thank you to all of those who reached out with your feedback. I'd like to shift now to uh, having some shout outs for our community and some of the great things happening across our schools. I would like to start with a shout out to the RISE staff. So last uh, Friday, myself uh, and our two assistant superintendents, Dr. Hardy and Dr. Styes, got to spend the day at RISE uh, housed here at the high school. Um, and there are a few things that stuck out to us about RISE. Uh, first of all, as you may know, RISE has received numerous accolades over the past several years for their, uh, for their great work. In particular, in the spring of 2021, uh, they were named as an exemplar preschool by DESE, uh, particularly for their work in around social and emotional learning. A couple of the things that stuck out to, to myself and to our team was first, um, across the classrooms, we observed students with opportunities to practice a wide range of skills 
including social interactions, uh, uh, fine motor, gross motor, and academic skills. And we were really encouraged by how the teachers use play to have students learn in all of these areas. And also, we were really encouraged by just the feel and the sense of community uh, at RISE. So there was, it's clear that students, staff, and families all feel very proud of the program and that the community deeply cares about every single student who was a part of the RISE program. So a shout out to uh, all of the RISE staff uh, for the great work that they're doing for, uh, for our youngest Rockets. Another shout out we'd like to give is to um, those involved with the Parker's Nature's Classroom. So this shout out comes from Principal Shanklin. Uh, she shared that the Parker seventh graders had a phenomenal trip to Nature's Classroom and Camp Kirkland Wingate on the Cape. Uh, she shared that we had such beautiful weather all three days and nights and we were able to fully enjoy the outdoors even for all of our meals. Some of our highlights included the Ort Report after meals, nature art, forestry, deer survival, shark dissection, back to basics, night hike, night sing, cabin games, and there may have even been some cabin dance parties. Huge thanks to our energetic and courageous staff and family chaperones, as well as Jay uh, Pellage and Mary Juliana, who helped us behind the scenes uh, with preparation and safety protocols. Making this happen was really a collaborative effort. We'd also like to give a very special shout out to all the five staff chaperones, and those include Eric Goldstein, Andy Spinali, Robin Ferrazzani, Hannah Mulkern, and Amy Betancourt. So thank you to all those staff members and also to all the family chaperones. It was a great opportunity for all of our students, so thank you. And our last shout out goes out to, the, uh, to those who participated in Band Day last Friday. So last Friday evening, the eighth grade middle school band joined the RMHS marching band for a performance in the RMHS parking lot before the football game. And as many of you know, this annual event is called Band Day. So we're going to show you a, qu a quick clip uh, from Band Day last Friday. <laughs> Again, thank you to everyone uh, across our entire RPS community for their great work. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all next week. Have a great weekend. Go Rockets.